In early December, the Plymouth Whalers declared their intent to move their hockey organization to Flint. In doing so, they also decided to allow the public to name the new team. And today, the long wait ended. Corey Kopik tells us more about Flint's newest addition. It's an exciting day for the city of Flint and the OHL as it was announced the Plymouth Whalers will now become the Flint Firebirds starting next season. People really took the time to tell us why they suggested a particular name. And that name, the Flint Firebirds, has a particularly personal meaning to one local man. I'm a veteran, went halfway around the world back in the day, come right back home to Flint and I don't ever plan on leaving. Tom Barden, who worked for GM for 27 years, has called Flint his home for decades. He chose the Firebirds as a symbol of rebirth and a chance to see the city he loves return to what it once was. Flint's had some tough times here the last few years, and this is like a bird rising from the ashes. Barden's entry was one of over 2,400 suggestions President Costa Papista received over the last two months, and he's happy, not only with the name that was chosen, but that this step in the process is behind him. Between now and September, we, you know, we have a lot of work ahead of us, but it's great to have our brand identity and name done. And that identity comes with a little bonus for Barden, who has been a longtime supporter of Flint's local hockey teams. We've got season tickets to the Warriors, and we had uh, season tickets to the Generals in the past. I was supposed to get two preseason tickets, and uh, when the team assembles, I'm supposed to get an autographed jersey. Now that the team has announced the new team name and logo, it's a huge check mark off the list for Papista and company. And when I asked him what the next big check mark would be, he said season ticket sales and revamping Pirani Arena. From Pirani Arena, I'm Corey Kopic, NBC 25.